Okay. Get up and dance if you want Lisa to do the ice bucket challenge. Is that a definite yes, Gib? You definitely want it to do it. That to me is a definite yes. Dance, boy. One more time, Gib. That's a triple threat, yes. You're doing the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> I don't like water. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Lisa McCormick, you've agreed to uh, man up and face the iceberg challenge. Why are you doing it exactly? Um, Other than peer pressure. <laughs> Total peer pressure. Um, I thought I might escape this, and then Father Paul Farron nominated me, and that man's an inspiration. He's done so much for charity, so I can't really say no. Um, back in March, I spent a weekend in Dublin with my family, celebrating my uncle's 70th birthday. And it was one of the best weekends of my life. And it sounds really odd to kind of say this because it was just a weekend with family. But last year my uncle was diagnosed with cancer and it was really, really, really horrible just to think that we're not invincible. And maybe the time you have together as a family could be a lot shorter than what you thought. So he lost a kidney, but he kept his life. And we sat there and celebrated his 70th birthday. It was just amazing. Um, I was inspired by my cousin who's just climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. So for that reason, it'd be really wrong to nominate Nikki to do this. But Nikki, if you want to, Far ahead, <laughs> but for that reason, my donations go into the Association for International Cancer Research. I'm going to nominate Paul Baird because he's been winched mm. about this, so it feels like we should, and also my dad as well because he likes a little bit of fun and he hasn't done it yet. So that's what we're doing. Can you see I'm actually shaking? I hate water, I'm really, really nervous. Well, I've got a surprise for you, <laughs> right? Because the standard form formula for this is an, right. a nice cold bucket of water, yeah, sit in a chair, dumped yeah. over your head, yeah, however. Me and Gib have got a little <laughs> bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> little bit creative. Mm -hmm. So follow me. I'd like to show you the flume of doom. So follow me. <laughs> Shit. So you can see how scientific this oh is. God. We've got what some is... piping going up all the way up, right. and your ice bucket will be delivered from the upstairs <laughs> spare bedroom. And I'd like you to take a position right under said pipe. So will I just kind of like kneel down and yeah. yeah, okay. How do you feel about the flume of doom at this stage? I feel absolutely horrendous, I won't lie, I do, but it's it's a good cause, so bring okay. it on. Right, let's see, this is where the water's gonna be travelling. Right the way down there, right on top of your noggin. <laughs> McCormick, are you ready? <laughs> okay, this is Ingleby Chilled Special Brew Water. Oh, that's cold. Ooh. Okay. You gotta take all of this, no moving. Here we go then. I'm gonna get worn in. I'm gonna get worn in, am I? He's just gonna do it. I'm not gonna get worn in. What am I doing then? It's all for a good call. Focus on that. It's come to peer pressure. I'm, I'm one of those. Oh my god, I hear water. Oh my! Ah! No. <laughs> it's horrible! Ah! I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? Ah! You're angry! I'm gonna kill you! Ah! Ah! Um, but because Sandra, our cleaner and work, thought this was really funny, I'd also like to nominate her as well. I just forgot at the beginning. Can I go and get dried now? Yeah, absolutely. Right. The flume of doom has its first victim. <laughs> Boom!